Hi everyone, I'm Mike White, founder of Breathing.com and the Optimal Breathing Academy and TurboOxygen.com. I just watched a documentary series on called Regain Your Brain, and it's incredible. So I made a lot of notes, and I'm hoping to inspire you to get a copy of it and watch it again and again with your friends and family. This is the best thing out there on the brain. Uh, What's good for my brain? The first interview was uh, was a Dr. Ammon, and he basically thinks in terms of what's good for my brain, what's bad for my brain. Everything you do, you think of that. What's good for my brain? What you eat, what you do, how you you know your stress levels, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You need to protect your brain. Uh, the blood-brain barrier deteriorates first. Ooh. <laughs> uh, so focus on healthy food that tastes great. Yeah. Uh, blood flow, blood pressure, in, in, very important. Strength training, interval training, uh, coordination, inflammation. He's got uh, an acronym, it says, let's see, uh, it's called um, Bright Minds. Uh, and uh, it stands for blood flow, retired, aging, inflammation, genetics, head trauma, toxins, mental health, uh, immunity, uh, neurohormonal, uh, diabetes and sleep, and uh, I think he missed uh, breathing and oxygen, but uh, I'll give, I gotta give him credit. Uh, I fell out of my, he talked about trauma, maybe we people have had trauma in their past, or football players, of course, he had seven, and so one of the guys in this, in this, in this series had seven uh, uh, concussions, uh, and he's a brain surgeon, and he's incredible. So uh, I, fell out of, I fell out of a tree on my head and uh, was, uh, had a serious head trauma, age 13, uh, was knocked out on the Golden Gate Bridge in a, uh, a wreck that totaled my car. Uh, so he, he recommends an infectious disease panel. Uh, that's, this is Dr. Ammon. And um, uh, next up was came Dr. Maroon. And um, Dr. Maroon uh, is a surgeon uh, and he's definitely not burned out. He's in his 70s, and he's also an Ironman triathlete. <laughs> uh, talks about elevated cortisol as being the monster, kills brain cells. Uh, he says uh, stress levels with MDs are monstrous, and there's basically, he said, 49% of them are burning out. They're suffering from mental exhaustion and uh, depersonalization. Uh, and now that I think about it, depersonalization, yeah, they treat the symptoms, not the causes most of the time, you know, and things don't get better. Uh, and um, uh, they're unfulfilled, and there was 400 that uh, committed suicide last year. Uh, depression uh, equals really no exercise. Uh, exercise is a huge, huge, huge factor in terms of Alzheimer's and uh, 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 any mental, uh, any, any brain function. Uh, caregivers are at risk, uh, they're not getting exercise, uh, Alzheimer's is rampant, 60 to 70 percent of people, are, uh, kids are born out of wedlock, we got drug mothers, crack and addicted children, uh, pot, not CBD, is confusing things, uh, uh, real CBD, there's a lot of phony CBD out there, uh, so it talks about uh, supplements, uh, omega-3 fatty acids, DHA, D3, magnesium, resveratrol, uh, no alcohol, that's more from almond, uh, probiotics. Uh, talks about exercise replaces brain cells. Exercise replaces brain cells. Get that. <laughs> Used to be you thought when you, 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 you used them, you lost them. No more. They're proving that's not true. Neuroplasticity. Uh, how to begin to uh, reorganize the brain so it works, uh, this, it will work doing different things that it couldn't before because it's a lot due to trauma or stroke or whatever. Uh, we're talking about uh, trillions of synapses, uh, serotonin increase. Uh, they talked about centenarians. We're 31st in the world in this country and we're the leading. Uh, we're the, we're the, we, we spend the most in medical care, but we're the 31st in centenarians. What's wrong with that picture, right? Uh, Square One is his book, uh, and it talks about exercise, increase stress. Not distress, but stress. In other words, work harder, work out harder. 
Uh, it talks about spiritual, Bible, uh, praying. I read Tartan Tulko, uh, my, uh, his gesture of balance and skillful means. Uh, um, I reread 25 years later and really discovered that that's a lot of what gave me a sense of guidance around breathing development. I read his book and he breathes me and he never mentions breathing. <laughs> uh, so we've got uh, uh, Dr. Maroon, Joseph Maroon talks about uh, work, four main things, work, family, spiritual, and physical. Uh, we, want to flow in it. we want to focus on health and flow and to seize the day. Uh, we talked about more about BDNF, which is a brain chemical. Uh, it's a brain, it's a protein. And um, oxygen has a lot to do with how it's developed. Uh, we're talking about uh, concussions and recovery of concussions. Uh, he's got um, a couple of rules for marital stress. No criticism and no counterattack. Uh, yeah. uh, no ego, basically. Uh, clinical studies. Let's see. What else we got here? Uh, okay, Dr. Deutsch, Dr. Norman Deutsch. Oh boy, he talked about the brain creating new brain cells, technology to measure neuroplasticity. Technology to measure neuroplasticity. Hmm, uh, it's happening. Uh, quantum computers are coming up. They're measuring stuff that they couldn't even imagine measuring uh, five, ten years ago. Uh, the brain changes its structure. Uh, on your experience or by your experience it changes its structure uh, so what you imagine can change your brain structure what you imagine can change your brain structure uh, I had a uh, uh, church member who had a stroke and she thought about her, her face dropped two inches and she, and uh, her her uh, uh, by thinking it back up, five years later, it was back up. Uh, it talks about uh, uh, growing new cells, the hippocampus being critical, uh, changing connections, rerouting and reestablishing function uh, via adjacent or mirror area on the opposite side. Uh, talks about strokes. Uh, there's a constraint-induced therapy that's being developed around strokes. Uh, the brain uses 20-25% of your energy and your oxygen. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, there's non-invasive techniques via the tongue to the brain stem. Uh, they noticed that there was some generalization. It's kind of like when you do one thing, you get a lot of other benefits with oxygen, of course. It's like major benefits to just about everything. Uh, so uh, uh, we're electrical beings. Uh, similar to alveoli not being dead, there are adjacent sick brain cells that can be recovered. Um, talked about neurofeedback, sound, light, laser. Uh, a colleague of mine, Delane Saputo, a doctor in Walnut Creek, is very big on a, a new device that they're working with, with around light. Um, talked about cellular health, uh, hyperbaric oxygen, where you get into a high pressure chamber and uh, they, they uh, pressurize oxygen into you. Uh, and uh, the gut and the di and, and diets, neurostimulation, all this is uh, helping Parkinson's, MS, epilepsy, uh, autism, cerebral palsy, traumatic injuries, and Alzheimer's. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, and you mentioned sound here, and I remembered I got, a long time ago, I got a, uh, a, I collected a series of Tibetan bowls, and I noticed that I used to do uh, a, uh, concerts, quote unquote, in in a church in Walnut Creek, and um, they would. Um, uh, I told people, you know, you can, uh, if you feel like lying down, just lie down on the floor or across the chairs that you're sitting in. And sure enough, in about 20 minutes, everybody was either on the floor or or lying down. Those those bowls just put you out. This is wonderful. Um, who else we have? David Perlmutter, uh, wonderful. He talked about, uh, uh, let's see, wait a minute, the first before was Jacob, Jacob Teitelbaum, uh, talking about cures A to Z, uh, and uh, energy increase, uh, talked about, do I have Alzheimer's? There's a really good uh, way to think about it. Uh, you can't find the keys versus how to use the keys. Uh, 
right? So you can't find the keys, that's just a memory thing. But Alzheimer's, how do you use the keys? Uh-oh, uh, talk about food allergies. Uh, if he didn't, he should have. <laughs> uh, cause, because the, uh, the memory could be a food allergy. It could be temporary, it could be uh, long-term. Um, talking about sleep, nine hours. Uh, we used to need we used to need get and need nine hours before Edison, and now we're, we're getting six or seven. Uh, hormones are a big issue. Uh, you need to do uh, 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 blood blood tests around that. Uh, reasonable amounts of dark chocolate uh, are actually better than statins. He said, "Reasonable amounts of dark chocolate are actually better than statins." Uh, I don't do statins, but I do do dark chocolate. <laughs> ah. Okay, so David Perlmutter, um, BDNF, like, like Beverly, David, Nancy, Frank, BDNF, Google it, add oxygen, BDNF, oxygen. Uh, exercise is the big deal. Uh, uh, they uh, talk about neurogenesis, hyperbaric oxygen chambers. Unfortunately, you can't exercise in a hyperbaric oxygen chamber, but we've created durable oxygen where you can exercise with massive amounts of oxygen. Uh, talks about aerobic, uh, caloric expenditure. More is better. Um, it talks about the, some of the good foods would be turmeric, uh, uh, omega-3, uh, DHA, breast milk is great. Uh, gut bacteria is really incredible for, uh, important for brain cells. Multiple factors needed for Alzheimer's, multiple factors. You're not gonna get a cure or a drug or do anything and you're not gonna back off Alzheimer's. There are multiple factors. You better see an MD around that and make sure they're aware of this video. Um, prebiotics, vitamin D, uh, prebiotics like fiber, casey is a good one he mentioned, vitamin D, uh, normal range uh, uh, is not good, not optimal. 80 or 90 with uh, vitamin D is good, he said. Uh, let's see, homocysteine, uh, should be low, average blood sugar should be low, fasting, uh, insulin should be low. Uh, no, there's no silver bullets. He says holistic equal, equals silver buckshot. I love that, silver buckshot, not silver bullets. Uh, I particularly, I per personally use bostonheartdiagnostics.com uh, and uh, that's where I get a lot of my blood work. So. Uh, uh, we're talking about uh, enhancing aerobic capability, uh, and uh, we we do the BNF, BDNF production uh, with our turbo oxygen. So uh, caloric expenditure, how to maximize uh, increased exercise, maximum intensity, aerobic reserve without intensity. So you don't have to work hard, hard if you can't exercise. You can use uh, very gentle exercises with the turbo and get incredible benefits. So um, that's about it. I hope this has been helpful and uh, maybe we'll see each other someday. Bye-bye.